Nick Lee enters Final X as the winner of the U.S. Open, whereas Yanni was sitting waiting for him due to his recent silver medal at last year's World Championships. Nick Lee did not disappoint, beating Yanni two matches to zero in two high-scoring battles, an outcome that not many predicted. Match number one, almost a minute in, Yanni is posting with both arms, and so Nick snaps them down at the wrists. This is a great way of clearing things and making your opponent's weight shift forward, getting them off balance. Yanni's hands do hit the mat, and so Nick starts to lift the left elbow and go for like a righty high crotch, knee pull to a single, but Yanni goes body lock and scoots around to his crackdown that he loves so much. Yanni pinches everything nice and tight and tilts Nick over to the right, which does give him two for back exposure. However, Nick holds tight with the double, changes the direction of the tilt a little bit, forces Yanni to roll through, getting his own set of back exposure and two points. This is actually a common roll in folk style from the offensive side of a crackdown. It can work really well to basically put you in the same position that Nick Lee wound up in. The score is 2-2. Scoreboard says Yanni is winning by criteria, but that's incorrect. 15 seconds into the second, Yanni has the right wrist controlled and goes for an arm drag. Nick reacts well, circles away, but Yanni dives at the righty single. Yanni does get stuck under a bit, but is able to drive forward and push Nick out of bounds for the push out and the 3-2 lead. 50 seconds into the second, Yanni dives at another single. Nick goes for a front headlock, but then slides off of it. And so Yanni winds up in the top of the front headlock. Nick does a sucker drag, pulling the elbow down with his left hand, reaching up into the armpit with his right, looks away and pulls his head out. This is actually a great thing to do when your opponent has a head and arm controlled loosely. It can give you an easy takedown, if not get you out of the situation entirely. Nick circles right around for the easy 4-3 lead. Minute left, Nick has an underhook on the left, fakes a righty high crotch. Looks like Yanni tries to go lefty fireman's, but Nick down blocks it and catches both underhooks, leaving Yanni nowhere to go as Nick pushes him out of bounds. Ref gives a caution and one. Must not have felt like Yanni tried hard enough to stay in bounds and attack. Score is 5-3, Nick Lee. This caution point puts Yanni in parterre back in the middle. Nick drops the ankles and threatens a leg lace, but then jumps up to a trapped arm gut and rolls Yanni across his back for a quick two, bringing the score 7-3, Nick. Yanni does slip out a bit and get a reversal, closing the score to 7-4, but he still has a lot to make up. 30 seconds left, Yanni has a lefty collar, pulls the head slightly, and then goes lefty eye crotch, aided by the wrist control that Nick has on Yanni's right wrist. Lifting this opens the door for a quick shot, which Yanni takes advantage of. Nick tries to circle away from the shot and sprawl, but Yanni is too high, so Nick tries to hip check Yanni backwards. This can be effective if your opponent's upper body is straight up like this. You pretty much run right through them. It's easy to tip them backwards, but Yanni wisely turns and backs out the back door. Yanni lifts the ankle up with his right as he comes up to a body lock, and so Nick wisely bails to his stomach so he doesn't get tossed and incur any additional damage. Score is 7-6, Nick. Nick runs for the last 10 seconds and gets a win over Yanni Diagamahalas, an upset that not many predicted. But he still has one more win to go if he wants to make the world team. Match number two, 30 seconds in. A lot of shot reshots going down. Nick goes past by on the left elbow and reaches for a high crotch. Yanni steps out of it, snaps, then fires off a righty single. Nick sprawls really well, cross faces, and keeps Yanni out in front. Yanni settles for a seatbelt, reaches for a cement job, the grip he has around the head but Nick slips out of it, stands up, reaches back over for an over-under, and inside trips the overhook side, placing Yanni right to his back. No idea why this is only called two points. They are clearly on their feet here, and clearly Yanni goes right to his back here, which should be feet to back, and four. I don't know. Nick is up 2-0. Minute 20 left in the first. Yanni goes lefty rush and tie. Nick bails. Yanni goes light pass by to a high crotch, but Nick sprawls out. Yanni keeps the elbow tight and goes for a sucker drag, reaching up into the armpit with his right hand, but Nick squares up with him and stays out in front, using that overhook for a fireman's carry. But the shot is just too far away, and so Yanni is able to sprawl, grab an arm drag, and circle behind for the takedown. Score is 2-2. Yanni is winning by criteria. The arm drag from this position has become super popular lately and is very difficult to stop. 15 seconds into the second period, some light hand fighting. Nick goes for a high crotch from space, and so Yanni matches the same motion and reaches for his own high crotch, converting it to a lefty single. Nick catches a body lock, steps over the head, and pinches it with his knee, keeping the situation nice and tight. As he does a head pinch and rolls Yanni across his back, Yanni recovers, keeps control of the leg, and gets his own back exposure for his own set of two points. It would have only been a reversal in one if Nick was able to stay off his back after the roll, but he didn't. Scores 4-4, Yanni, because he scored last, and they both have a pair of two-point moves. Minute 50 left in the match, Yanni gets a lefty collar tie, pulls the head a little and then lets go and dives at a lefty single with both arms. This kind of setup is simple yet effective. It makes your opponent's weight shift forward and since both of your arms disappear, it's difficult to use any tie-ups to correct your position. It's also tough to catch down blocks. Yanni lifts Nick out the back door, gets his head out to the side, drops him off, and holds on to a tight body lock to score the takedown. Score is 6-4, Yanni. Minute 15 left. Yanni dives at another shot. This one seemed to not be targeting much. Nick sprawls, goes to circle, but Yanni catches the hip. Nick reaches for an arm drag so he 
can circle behind, but Yanni slips out of it and starts to circle away, but walks right into a righty single. Nick lifts it and starts to reach for a double, but Yanni already has a decent angle on the crackdown. Nick tries to circle left and push Yanni to his back, but Yanni keeps forward pressure and starts to come up, locks the near leg up, cross face, and gets the takedown. Yanni is so ridiculously good in these crackdown positions. His ability to get leverage, keeping his pressure forward in this situation is just unparalleled. It's very easy for even the best wrestlers to fall backwards here. Score is 8-4, Yanni. 40 seconds left, Yanni does yet another low double from space with no setup. Nick sprawls, steps his knee over Yanni's head, taps the knee a little bit, and hip tips Yanni to his back for a quick two. Score is 8-6, Yanni. You'd think Yanni being so good at defense and scrambling wouldn't be putting himself in unnecessary danger, but he's firing off these random low doubles from space, it's kind of his jam. He really should be hand fighting more and be more choosy with his shots, especially at the end of the match. 20 seconds left, Nick snaps, Yanni drops to a righty single, tries to come up, but Nick hip checks Yanni down. Lifts the near leg to threaten a cradle maybe, but Yanni holds tight, hoping the clock moves faster or the ref calls them back up. 5 seconds left, Nick drops to a crotch lock and lifts Yanni's hips to the left, getting the smallest tiny bit of back exposure for the 8-8 win by criteria. A challenge is required to get the two points here, but they do end up giving it. This is a tough way for Yanni to go out. It is unfortunate. But these matches were super chaotic, and these are the scenarios where Nick Lee just thrives.